Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutrition nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you on the bright side. We welcome your calls at 844-236-6010. That's 844-236-6010. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. If you have questions about the longevity products or longevity business, formulations, ingredients, something you may have heard about, read about that you want clarification on, or of course, if you have questions about this, our Truth Skin Health products, at truthtreatments.com, by the way, truthtreatments.com, or number 844-236-6010, and we want to hear from you, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side today and every day. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, you can purchase them by calling 866-735-2470, that's 866-735-2470, you can also purchase products or sign up to join the Brightside Ben team from criticalhealthnews.com, brightsideben.com, or pharmacistben.com. That's criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, or brightsideben.com. You can sign up, <clears throat> excuse me, sign up right off the websites, or you can purchase longevity products right off the websites as well. Okay, so we're talking fibromyalgia on the bright side. Fibromyalgia is a connective tissue disease. It's not technically called a connective tissue disease, but it is a connective tissue pathology, breakdown of the connective tissue, inflammation of the connective tissue, pain in the connective tissue, tied in with the muscles. The connective tissue and muscles are embedded in each other or within each other. So the connective tissue, or, or more, actually more specifically the fascia, is the part of the body that is affected when we have fibromyalgia. The fascia is a specialized coating that acts to cushion and protect the organs and the glands. It acts to uh, as an interface between the muscles and the connective tissue. It's involved in movement. It's involved in information storage. The fascia is an information storage system. It's a liquid crystal. It's like a combination liquid solid with very interesting properties. Liquid crystals store energy. They store energy in an organized fashion. That makes the energy in a form Liquid crystals store energy in a form. That means that they are, by definition, in formation. That's what information is. Information is chaotic energy that has a structure, that has been structured. Energy has a chaotic nature, but when it's in a structure, when it's in a form, that chaotic energy becomes literally in formation, in a form. And the fascia does just that. It organizes inf- energy into information. It organizes chaotic energy into information we call trauma. If you're traumatized, your fascia is going to remember it. And then every time you're traumatized again, it's going to trigger the fascia. You're going to feel it in the fascia. You're going to create more information in the fascia, further locking up the energy, creating more pain. This is why a regular exercise program can be so important. Just like the body remembers traumas, it also remembers movement. It also remembers motion. In chemistry and in biochemistry and biology, there is a phenomenon that's called structure function. That is the relationship between the structure of something and its function. 
The structure of a nutrient plays a role in the function of that nutrient. The structure or the shape of vitamin C, for example, plays a very important role in how vitamin C works. The shape of vitamin E, likewise. The shape of amino acids. The shape of fatty acids. The shape of anything is anything in the body. The shape of anything is going to have a role to play in how it functions. The structure of a screwdriver allows that tool to screw things. The structure of a hammer allows that tool to hammer things. The structure of an automobile allows the automobile to run. The structure of a bicycle allows the bicycle to move. This is called structure function. It's a very, very fundamental idea in chemistry. In fact, structure function, the relationship between structure and function, was behind Dr. Wallach's lawsuit with the FDA. It involved this distinction between what is called disease claims and structure function claims. Doc and Longevity went to court against the FDA, taking the position that making claims relating to the structure and function of a nutrient is not the same as making disease curing claims. Every time I go on a national radio show like George Norrie or, or, or whatever national radio shows I'm doing, I have to be very careful about making disease claims, but I can make structure function claims. I can't say that selenium can cure your diabetes or selenium can do something for your diabetes, but I can say that the structure of selenium is involved in how, it, how sugar is processed in the body. That's a structure function claim. This, is what Doc, this was Doc's uh, big lawsuit with the FDA, which he won, by the way. And that's why we're allowed to say things that, like selenium is important for the blood or for or the heart or for blood sugar or whatever, for brain health. But I can't say that selenium can cure diabetes or selenium can cure heart disease. It seems like a subtle distinction, but it's a very important one. The point being here, the structure of a molecule or the shape of a molecule, the design of a molecule, God's design, is going to be relate, related to its function. Selenium is important for heart health and selenium is important for blood sugar control because of its shape, because of its structure. Zinc is important for hormone health because of its structure. Vitamin C functions to activate the production of collagen because of its structure. All forms that have a job to do, the play, that have a function, are gonna have this kind of relationship. Anything that has something to do, whether it's a light bulb or a, or a pen or a keyboard, whatever, is going to do its job. It's going to perform its function based on its structure. And guess what? The body is the same way. The structure of the body is set up to accomplish its function. So say, what is the function of the body then? The function of the body is this to move. This is what the body does. It moves. It's constantly moving. It's moving inside. It's moving outside. And the structure of the body is designed to accomplish this movement function. The structure of the body is designed to allow it to move. And under ordinary circumstances, this movement requires the action of the fascia, which acts to lubricate and facilitate the movements and the actions and the dynamism of the muscles and the bones and allows the organs to move, uh, move within themselves and to move against each other with no restrictions. When the fascia is injured, whether it's through trauma or whether through, uh, through surgery or whether it's lack of movement, when the fascia is not moved, it can become fibrotic. It can become hardened. And this topic of injury to the fascia, whether we're talking about injury from trauma or surgery or whether we're talking about injury from lack of movement, this topic of injury to the fascia is a major, major health issue that no one talks about. And surgeons don't tell us about it. The fascia become injured when we get surgery. The fascia become injured when we don't move or becomes injured when we don't move. The fascia can become injured from lack of nutrition. The fascia can become injured from toxicity, from the digestive tract. The fascia can become injured from sugar. In fact, almost all the things we do that are supposedly bad for us are bad for us because of how, or at least partially bad for us, because of how they affect the fascia. When the fascia becomes injured, it becomes fibrotic. This is one of the, one of the ways the body protects itself or the fascia protects itself. It hardens. When the fascia hardens, movement becomes restricted, and this can cause hypersensitivity, and it can affect the entire body. 
this is what it's uh, it, this is what fibromyalgia is really all about fiber muscle pain pain in the muscle fibers pain in the connective tissue fibers pain in the in the fascial fibers secondary to fibrosis which is secondary to lack of movement lack of nutrition sugar or trauma or injury including surgery all right i'm pharmacist ben 844-236-6010 is our number we'll take a quick commercial break and come back with more good health information on the bright side right after this Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for joining us, friends, on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on, the, on our archive pages, benfuchsarchives.com and brightsideben.com. Got search engines up at both, <coughs> excuse me, on both websites. If you miss a program, you can review uh, various topics, or if you want to direct one of your clients or friends or family members to specific topics, you can go to brightsideben.com or benfuchsarchives.com. Got probably five plus years of bright side episodes from all kinds of various subjects that we talk about on the bright side every day if you're interested in checking out the longevity products you your advertiser recommended on the program you can also go to brightsideben.com pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com you can purchase products off the website and you can also join the bright side ben team love to have you as a member of our bright side ben team for a one time $25 fee you can start a longevity business and earn thank you checks if you're an entrepreneur you want to be an entrepreneur this is a, this is a real business and you'll get the tax write offs tax write offs right Offs associated with having your own business and make your own hours and work out of the home. All the benefits of having your own business, but you got to be business minded. It is a business. And if you are business minded, if you are entrepreneurially minded, if you like the entrepreneurial lifestyle, entrepreneurial lifestyle, this is a business that you want to know about. For one time $25 fee, you can start a business. Call 866 735 2470. They can tell you all about it. And of course, if you want to purchase our Truth Skin Health products, including our Truth Retinol 5% gel made with vitamin C, retinol, our transdermal delivery matrix, and that is it. That's the only thing you'll find in our Truth Retinol 5% Gel. Same with our Truth Balm and Truth Serum and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, just our transdermal delivery matrix system, as well as uh, other transdermal ingredients and active ingredients. Only active and functional ingredients in all my Truth Skin Health products. Never any filler, wax, water, silicone, oil, preservative, perfume, emulsifier, surfactant, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. You can find out all about them at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, got a couple lines open, 844-236-6010. We're talking fascia, reading from the journal Fascia Science and Clinical Applications. Quote, this is really interesting, fascial, quote, fascial treatment may access such memories and obtain therapeutic effects, unquote. The fascia is a memory storage system. It's an information storage system. And fascial damage or trauma to the fascia can be related to various fascial memories. We get traumatized at an early age that trauma is stored in the fascia. This can result in, in the long term, this can result in inflammation and irritation, ultimately restriction of movement, and ultimately pain itself. Fibromyalgia, muscle fiber pain is the end result of fascial damage. And nobody talks about what is really causing this problem. We're going to talk about it here for the next few days, about what causes the problem, aside from trauma, the chemistry that causes the problem, and what we can do about it. For now, I just want to talk about the idea of movement. The body is designed to move, and moving the body is incredibly important, incredibly helpful, even if you don't feel like moving the body. Now, if you have a, a serious injury, obviously, you want to keep the body still. You don't want to be moving it if you have a broken leg or broken arm or some kind of muscle tear. But other than that, if it's just a matter of soreness, just a matter of fatigue, movement is incredibly helpful. Fibromyalgia, muscle fiber pain itself can be, can be relieved, the pain itself can be relieved by movement. And this is one of the things that peop, uh, a therapist will do when you go to a, a rolfer, a massage therapist, or now they can do something called myofascial release. They'll actually manipulate the tissue. They'll actually cause the tissue to move while you're on the table. Myofascial release, according to the myofascial, myofascial release is just an idea. The myofascia is another term for the fascia, and myofascial release is just moving the fascia. The myofascial release treatment and seminar website claims that the uh, myofascial restrictions, that is fascial restrictions, can, produ can produce pressures of up to one ton per square inch. 
myofascial restrictions can produce this kind of blockage of the fascia that can amount to one ton per square inch on certain structures. That's a lot of pain. And these restrictions, by the way, are not going to show up on standard tests, x-rays, CAT scans. They're not going to they're not going to be able to assess these. The only way you can assess these kinds of restrictions is by the pain that you're feeling. So your doctor's going to say, oh my gosh, this must all be in your head, and you're going to end up with Prozac. If you're feeling pain in the fibers, excuse me, if you're feeling fibromyalgia pain, muscle fiber pain, it's a real deal. It's not just all in your head. You're feeling fibrosis, you're feeling restrictions, and this is why myofascial release and massage therapy and rolfing can be very helpful. Rolfing can be very, very helpful. I've had it done myself. It's amazing how much your body can change, the shape of your body can change with, roll, with rolfing. They take a picture of you. Typically, it's a 10 session, uh, it's a 10 session treatment. You go in uh, uh, 10 different days and they do different parts of your body and they take pictures before they start. They take pictures of you standing in your underwear. And then they take pictures of you standing in your underwear after 10 sessions and it's amazing the difference. Another form of body work that can be helpful for a fibromyalgia patient is this idea of release, fascial release or myofascial release, which is a little gentler than rolfing. Same idea as rolfing, but it's a little bit gentler than rolfing. A lot of folks can't handle the, the rolfing because if you have fibrosis in the, in, in the tissue and it's been accumulating for a long period of time, rolfing can be pretty traumatic. It can hurt. Now, when you're done with rolfing, after they break up all that fibrotic tissue, all the adhesions and all the scar tissue, you feel awesome. If you're dealing with TMJ, by the way, trimand, uh, trimandibular joint issues, which is a pain that you have in your jaw, it can be absolutely agonizing. That's one of the, one of the uh, places where uh, rolfing can be really, really helpful. Nobody talks about TMJ as being the result of fascial adhesions, but indeed it is, sticky fascia. So rolfing or myofascial release, I, I, I like rolfing better. It is a little bit harsher, but I like it better. But either way, myofascial release or, or uh, rolfing can be incredibly helpful if you're dealing with adhesions, if you're dealing with fibrosis. And in my opinion, if you've had any kind of surgery where they had to cut into the abdomen, you would be extremely wise to get either myofascial release or rolfing treatments. Even massage therapy can do it. Even just gentle massage therapy, which has been proven over and over again to reduce stress and anxiety, improve sleep enhance general quality of life. Massage therapy is not only a serious health treatment, massage therapy is something we should all be doing for ourselves even if we are healthy. We should be giving the gift of massage therapy for ourselves and helping massage therapists. If we really cared about health in this country, we would have national massage insurance. I've said that often. Every American gets two massages a month, guaranteed. That's the kind of money, if, we had, if, if our tax benefits went to getting massage therapy once or, twice a, uh, once or twice a month for every American, not only would that really be helping our health, but we wouldn't, be, we wouldn't mind spending our tax dollars so much. Every American deserves one or two massages a month, in my opinion, especially if we really care about health. And you don't have to be unhealthy. You don't have to have a body problem to benefit from massage therapy. And it's a really good idea to get massage therapy from a massage therapist who's trained in myofascial release techniques, because then you can actually use the massage therapy to improve the fascia, release the restrictions in the body. Manipulating the fascia is incredibly, incredibly helpful for everybody. It increases range of, motion, uh, range of motion. It increases or improves our posture, improves our stability, increases our mobility, decreases our pain, especially as we get older. You can see in an older person the end result of, uh, of fascial fibrosis that has accrued over the years and the decades, the hunched over appearance, the, the stumbling gait, the, uh, the, difficult, the difficult appearance to the walking motion. All of these are a result of, of fibrosis in the fascia and myofascial release, rolfing and massage therapy can go a long way towards helping this, uh, helping this condition. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844 is our number you're listening to the bright side we'll be back after this okay we are back on the bright side i'm pharmacist ben 844-236-6010 is our number got lines open for you 844-236-6010 if you have questions about the longevity products or the longevity business or health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with if you have questions about uh, our true skin health products or of course if you have a comment or success story you'd like to share we love hearing from you. 844 236 6010 
is our number on the Bright Side. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you're advertised or recommended on the program, you can call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. 2470. And if you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% Gel, or Truth Serum, or Truth Balm, or Truth Omega 6 Healing Cream, all made with lots of vitamin C and never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, wax, oil, water, silicon. Nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want because you shouldn't have to pay for water. You shouldn't have to pay for emulsifiers. You shouldn't have to pay for preservatives. You shouldn't have to pay for silicon and oil and anything that uh, isn't going to do your skin any good. And that's why I created my Truth Skin Health products. TruthTreatments.com, TruthTreatments.com. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Time to hit the phones. Good morning, Bruce in Connecticut. Welcome to the bright side. What's up, Brucey? Uh, thanks, Ben. Thanks for the call. I've really appreciated it and, and enjoyed your show for years now. And Thank you. Actually, uh, taking your advice has made a, a huge difference in terms of um, kind of dealing with uh, being 59 and just about turning 60. 60! Uh, oh my God, is that traumatic? I'm almost 60, but is that traumatic? Well, um, really, by listening to what you said, it's not traumatic, Ben. I, Good I think, deal. Um, it's just a number, and I choose to um, not be or act or, or feel 60, and, and it's made a difference. Between um, listening to you about cutting down on sugars and going on a rebounder and just kind of paying attention to what I put in my body, it's made a huge difference. Nice. I didn't use the, uh, the Truth Serum products for about two years now, and I found amazing results, specifically around my face, the crow's feet around my eyes. And um, what I wanted to share today, uh, Ben, is that I find that using your products as kind of part of my... Um, kit, uh, my uh, pre pre preparation kit, prepared kit, whenever I get a burn or um, some kind of rash or reaction, and specifically by using it on scar scarring that I've had, it's lessened the scars and it's healed my burns and nice. my rashes. Oh, that's awesome, Bruce. Thank you for sharing that. I appreciate it. Hey, listen, send me an email, ben at ksco.com. Put your uh, address in there and I'll send you out a freebie. You want a retinol? I'll send you out a, a freebie retinol. The, the products are, are lasting a long, long time. They're great, but a, a little hit, hint or tip that I have is I've been using uh, coconut oil or aloe vera as a carrier so that um, it's, it's kind of taken the product and not made it so aggressively um, strong on the skin, and, it, and it's um, lasted a long, long time. It also has been really helpful at night, applying it at, at the, night. How often do you use the retinol? I use it uh, two to three days a week. Ooh, that's a lot. And do you, are you peeling still after you use it? I'm not because when I mix it... Um, oh, you're cutting uh, it. Three to one but by using coconut oil as a carrier. I'm not... Um, Very uh, nice. Uh, Very yeah, nice. It, it really well. Well, pick a, pick a product, send me an email, put your address, and I'll send you a freebie. Well, thank you so much, Ben, and thank you so much for all the work you do and, and the information you provide us. It's been amazing in my life. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bruce. That means a lot to me. I appreciate your call. Have a good day, bro. All right. right take, you too, take care, man. All right. I love, love, uh, love hearing feedback from our truth, uh, my truth consumers. Truthtreatments.com, by the way. Truthtreatments.com if you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products. Let's go to Mary in Oregon. Good morning, Mary. Hi, this must be success story day. Yeah? One of my success stories is I have made the transition to a liquid diet. And nice. so I figured that people would appreciate hearing that. Um, I, I started out, uh, I already had my breakfast at, to where I waited until at least 10 o'clock for my breakfast. So my first liquid success was my dinner. And uh, that's what people should do: is just aim towards towards a liquid diet. And what are you doing that. now? What are you doing for liquids? Give me some ideas of what you're doing. Uh, so dinner is bone soup and um, vegetables blended up, you know, with butter and and and, and anything that can go liquid. Um, then. Uh, then after, after, you know, that was my baby step was liquid dinner. Then my second baby step was liquid breakfast. And what are you doing for liquid breakfast? 
Uh, well, I steam a green of some sort, you know, and I put bone soup in there, and I put three raw eggs in there. I put butter in there. Um, like a smoothie easy. kind of thing? You're doing a smoothie sort of thing, like with a Vitamix? Yes. And then you, the, your fiber comes from the vegetables, because that's the one thing with a liquid diet. you got to make sure you're getting fiber, so you're getting it from the vegetables, correct? Correct. Awesome. Yes. Right. And how do you feel? And avocados. <laughs> oh, you know how I feel. <laughs> How do you feel? Tell me. <laughs> Wonderful. Awesome. Awesome. So you notice that your digestion, it's easier for you to digest and you don't have any discomfort in your intestine or your belly or anything like that? I've calmed my body down thanks to you. No kidding. That's awesome. Good job, Mary. Thanks so much for calling. Thanks for sharing. Anything I can help you with? Well, let me no, Let me just tell the people, you know, how, how to make the, finish making the transition. So then there I had uh, dinner liquid. I had breakfast liquid. And after more time passed, the rest of the day became liquid. So that's all I have to say. Well, thank you so much for sharing that, Mary. Appreciate it. Have a beautiful day, okay? Take care. Okay. Thanks for your call. Okay, let's move on to, uh, by the way, got lines open, 844-236-6010. Let's move to Carla in Ohio. Good morning, Carla. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, hi uh, Ben. Hey. Uh, my husband has a question on your recommendation for psoriasis. Okay. And body. Thank you. Okay, psoriasis is super easy. Is he there listening, or are you going to pass this on to him? I'm listening. Okay, psoriasis is super duper easy. It is an immune response. It's not a skin problem, and this is so. This is really important when it comes to the skin, because when we look at a skin issue, whether it's a rash or or, or it's like bumps or pimples or plaques in, psori in the case of psoriasis or or broken skin in the case of eczema, it's very easy for us to be deluded into believing we've got a skin problem. But if you've been listening to this program for the last few months or even for the last few years, you know that the skin is built up in layers, and underneath the surface where we see the problem is the connective tissue and this is the key to understanding how to deal with the skin. The problem with the skin very rarely is is, uh, is a, t a topical issue. Very rarely. Occasionally you can have contact dermatitis where something touches the skin and you react but this is rare. For the most part, 99% of the time when you're dealing with a skin problem, you're dealing with an underneath connective tissue problem which itself is secondary to dirty blood. And by dirty blood, I mean blood that has contaminants in it from the digestive tract, unless you're an IV drug user, in which case you'll have contaminants that you're injecting directly into the blood. But for most of us, dirty blood it results from digestive problems, either leaky gut syndrome or food toxicity or food allergenicity or combinations thereof. Nutritional deficiencies can compound the problem, especially in fatty vitamins and essential fatty acids. And this, is, can, also, this can be related to digestive problems itself, malabsorption, or just a lack of intake. So these are the two areas you've got to work on, and I'll give you some specifics when we come back from our break. Think digestive tract, think patching up leaky gut, and think nutritional supplements. Uh, so hang on, uh, Carla, and we'll get you some uh, action steps when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. All right, we are back on The Bright Side talking to Carla in Ohio. Good morning, Carla. Carla's husband has psoriasis. Psoriasis is super duper easy. It's an immune response. Something is damaging the connective tissue underneath the skin, and that has to do with something getting into the blood, i.e. dirty blood. It, it, the problem is compounded by nutritional deficiencies in fatty nutrients and minerals, both of which have a, uh, both fatty nutrient deficiencies and mineral deficiencies are related to digestive problems. So you can take care of things pretty dramatically by working on the digestive system. Number one, look for food toxins and food allergens, things that uh, trigger some kind of uh, either a psoriasis response or digestive health problems, uh, constipation, gas, bloating. I'm sure your husband's got something going on with the digestive tract that's pretty obvious if he has psoriasis. Look for foods that are connected to those problems. You'll have to fast maybe for a couple of days or do a Swero-V cleanse. That's where you do half a bottle of Swero-V 
every hour for uh, either 12 hours or 24 hours or 36 hours or even 72 hours. And when you start eating again, pick one food, eat that food for a few hours or even for a whole day. Try to eat as simply as possible and look for a relationship between the foods and a digestive problem. When you notice foods causing gas or bloating or heartburn or constipation or anything like that, you want to eliminate those foods. Gluten, of course, is going to be a problem for a lot of folks. Dairy, grains of all kinds. It doesn't have to be, you know, gluten-free can be an issue, folks. Carla, gluten-free can be an issue. So don't just go gluten-free. Look for foods, specific foods that cause digestive health issues. Then you're going to patch up the gut using probiotics. Get on the nightly essence. Eat fermented foods. Restrict your calories. Uh, use uh, high aluronic acid supplements to patch up the gut. The Fucoid Z from Longevity will help. Uh, digestive enzymes with all of the meals and apple cider vinegar with all meals. Everything we talk about for digestive support is going to be important. Then the next piece of the puzzle is going to be nutrients, especially fatty nutrients. Your ultimate EFAs, I'd be doing nine of those a day. Vitamin A, 20,000 IU a day. Uh, the Healthy Start Pack will get you your mighty 90 essential nutrients, and you definitely want to be on that, but you want extra vitamin A. You want extra zinc, 50 milligrams a day of zinc. Uh, go with zinc picolinate. Vitamin D can help, although the best way to get your vitamin D is from the sun. But if you want to do supplements, get on 5,000 uh, international units, 5,000 IU of vitamin D3 a day. Um, I would be using, uh, I would be using uh, in addition to uh, uh, the vitamin D, or in, instead of vitamin D supplements, I would be using fish oil because you get the omega-3 fats and you'll get vitamin D, and you'll also get vitamin A in fish oil as well. Uh, selenium can be helpful, maybe 200 to 400 micrograms or even more, 600 micrograms of your ultimate selenium. Between your fatty nutrients, your minerals, and digestive support, you should notice almost immediate results with, uh, and by immediate, I'm talking about a week or less, with your psoriatic plaques. They should start to diminish, and ultimately, when you do this correctly, especially the food component, never again to appear. Never again, psoria uh, psoriatic plaques will never appear again, and that's how you'll know you're on the right track. In fact, psoriasis is actually a neat thing to have in the sense that it's kind of like a diagnostic tool for how how good you're doing, how healthy you are. When, you're, when your plaques disappear, you'll know you're on the right track. When you get your plaques, you'll know you have to readjust your protocol. Does that make sense, Carla? Thank you very much. Yes, it does. Awesome. Have a beautiful day. Thanks for calling. Thank Appreciate you it. as well. Okay. All right. Yes. Yeah. Psoriasis, eczema, acne. These are all super easy because the skin is the fastest healing tissue in the body, the fastest growing tissue in the body, with the exception perhaps of the digestive tract. But between the digestive system or the digestive tube, the digestive tract and the skin, you've got the two most uh, rapidly growing, rapidly dividing, rapidly replacing, rapidly healing tissues in the body. And nobody has to have a skin health issue once they resolve whatever the internal condition is and, of course, nutrition deficiencies count as an internal condition. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Texas and say good morning to Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Hi, this is um, Johnny Lifford, and Hi. he's got Hi, multiple Johnny. issues. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. How can we help you? Okay, and here's Johnny. I'm going to pass him over to you. Okay. Hey, Johnny. Hey, how are you? Hey, going, I'm doing well. How about you? Well, doing all right. What's, tell me how I can multiple, help. Well, I've got multiple herniated discs okay. and nerve issues in my hands, feet, and legs. Got it. How old are you? 47. Oh, my goodness. You're a young man. And what is your height to weight, Johnny? 5'7", uh, 205 pounds. Okay. And what is your, uh, are you on any prescription drugs right now? Uh, about 14. 14 drugs? Yes. Okay. Well, those are definitely not. That, that's is it the same doctor giving you those drugs, or is it different doctors? Uh, I got four. Okay. Are they pain pills mostly? Some is pain pills. Some is. Um, I'm trying to think. Cholesterol. Okay. Well, you, you're being way over medicated. The last thing you need with 14 drugs is more like a cholesterol lowering drug. But that's another story. Let's get to the bottom of your problem, Johnny. First of all, at five seven, unless you're a weightlifter or bodybuilder, which I I don't think you are with all those herniated discs, we got to get you to lose some weight. Uh, uh, this is a very interesting well, thing about about body fat. Body fat 
is pro-inflammatory. Fat secretes inflammatory chemicals. The more body fat you're carrying, the more inflammation you're gonna have in your body, the harder it's going to be to heal, and the more likely you are going to be to, de to, de to degenerate. So we wanna lose that body, body weight, and so and we're gonna do a couple things to do that. First thing always is you gotta get to the, you gotta get to the bottom of your digestive health issues. You have to have some significant health, uh, digestive health issues. If for nothing else, just the pain pills will constipate you, but you probably have some long-standing digestive health issues. Those need to be addressed. I would be doing a Swero V cleanse, half a bottle of Swero V every hour for two or three days. I, I, ordinarily, I like folks to fast, but but you probably are going to have a hard time fasting. So you want to do a Swero V cleanse. That means you don't eat. All you do is Swero V for two or three days, and when you start eating again, pick one food, uh, pick your favorite food, and and uh, look for digestive health issues, and then uh, and then you're going to start eliminating foods. That's called the elimination diet. I'm sure you've heard me talk about that before. We just talked about it with our last caller. And this is a fundamental component to the healing process for no matter for no matter what your health challenge is. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to stabilize your blood sugar by eating more protein and by uh, uh, restricting your intake or as best as you can anyway, going as close to zero tolerance as you can for any foods that spike your blood sugar. And that includes fruit juices and fruits and desserts and pasta and potatoes and rice, probably foods you love and foods we all love. Uh, anything that spikes your blood sugar, you, you got to consider that you're a diabetic. Well, there's something in there because you wouldn't be 5'7 and 205 if you didn't have something in there. So it's great that you... I do. I, do. I have well, lifted for most of my life. You have what? I've been working out most of my life. Okay. Then that's good. So that 5'7, 205 so is... I have a 32 waist. Okay, well then maybe you're okay on that in that level. In, in any case, if you're herniating, if your discs are falling, a herniated disc just for the listeners is when the connective tissue deteriorates and the, and things start to poke through. This is what hernias are. Various tissues poke through broken down connective tissue. So your problem is your connective tissue is deteriorating and sugar is usually a, is usually one of the one of the causes, glycation of the connective tissue or candying or caramelizing of the connective tissue. Take that for whatever it's worth to you. I would be looking at blood sugar issues. The next, the third piece of the puzzle is going to be straight out nutrition, especially uh, uh, connective tissue building nutrition. Bone soup is a must for you. Bone broth protein, if you, uh, you can get that off brightsidehealth.com. That's also probably a good idea. Using glucosamine supplements can help you. Anything that's got cartilage in it will help build your cartilage. So you can actually get cartilage capsules at the health food store, but certainly glucosamine. And make sure you're doing vitamin C with your bone broth protein, vitamin C with your glucosamine and vitamin C with your bone broth because vitamin C turns on the production of connective tissue. That's great that you're working out and lifting weights, but I would be doing more stretching types of exercise if you're not already. Uh, uh, things like Pilates or anything that allows you to stretch, even yoga, anything that allows your muscles to stretch and allows the connective tissue to stretch can be very helpful. Regular protein like whey protein can also be important. Don't forget essential fatty acids. They act as a trigger for turning on the production of tissue. I'd be doing nine of your uh, 9 to 12 of your ultimate EFAs a day. If you really want to go hardcore, go get something called Udo's Blend. Um, you can get that at a health food store. Do liquid Udo's Blend rather than the capsules, maybe two or three tablespoons a day. And then don't forget digestive enzymes with your meals and also on an empty stomach. Get your ultimate enzymes and take two or three with your meals and then take two or three on an empty stomach. That can help with the swelling and the inflammation. Make sure you use a little bit of apple cider vinegar with your ultimate enzymes when you take those with meals. Make sure you're getting your fatty nutrients as well, especially fatty vitamins. Vitamin A is incredibly important for building. So is zinc. 50 milligrams a day of zinc picolinate, 20,000 IU a day of vitamin A. Uh, getting some sunshine for your vitamin D can help, or you can use fish oil or straight vitamin D capsules uh, to get your vitamin D. Both A and D are important for building connective tissue, as is zinc. Don't forget calcium and magnesium and the Healthy Star Pack. There's lots more, but that's a good start for you. Thanks so much for your call, Johnny. And if you have more questions, excuse me, I know I went fast, send an email to ben at ksco.com. Put your phone number in there, and I'll give you a call, and we'll, we'll talk personally. All right, that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Thanks for listening, friends. want to remind you to check out my Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. Thanks for listening. Have a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.